First Chronicles chapter 7. Now the sons of Issachar were Tola and Pua, Jashub and Shimram four. And the sons of Tola, Uzai and Rephaiah and Jeriel and Jemiah and Jibsam and Shemuel, heads of their father's house, to wit of Tola. They were valiant men of might in their generations, whose number was in the days of David, two and twenty thousand and six hundred. Now, and the sons of Uzai, Israhiah, and the sons of Israhiah, Michael, and Obadiah, and Joel, Ishiah five, all of them chief men. And with them by their generations, after the house of their fathers, were bands of soldiers for war, six and thirty thousand men, for they have many wives and sons. And their brethren among all the families of Issachar were valiant men of might, reckoned in all by their genealogies fourscore and seven thousand. The sons of Benjamin, Bela and Becher, and Jediel three. And the sons of Bela, Esbon, and Uzai, and Uziel, and Jeremoth, and Eri, five. Heads of the house of their fathers, mighty men of valor, and were reckoned by their genealogies twenty and two thousand, and thirty and four. And the sons of Becher, Samira and Joash, and Eliezer, and Elioenai, and Omri, and Jeremoth, and Abiah, and Anathoth, and Alameth. All these are the sons of Becher. And the number of them, after their genealogy by their generations, heads of the house of their fathers, mighty men of valor, was 20,200. The sons of Jediel, Bilhan, the sons of Bilhan, Jeush and Benjamin and Ehud and Kenana and Zithan and Tarshish and Ahishahar. All these the sons of Jediel by the heads of their fathers. Mighty men of valor were 17,200 soldiers fit to go out for war and battle. Shupam also and Hupam, the children of Ir, and Hushim, the sons of Eher. The sons of Naphtali, Jaziel, and Gunai, and Jezer, and Shalom, the sons of Bilhah. The sons of Manasseh, Ashriel, whom she bare, but his concubine, the Aramitess, bare Machir, the father of Gilead. And Machir took to wife the sister of Huppam and Shuppam, whose sister's name was Mekah, and the name of the second was Zelophead, and Zelophead had daughters. And Mekah, the wife of Machir, bare a son, and she called his name Perish, and the name of his brother was Sherish, and his sons were Ulam and Rechem. The sons of Ulam, Bedan, these were the sons of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, and his sister, Hamalekith, bare Ishad, and Abiezer, and Mahala. And the sons of Shemida were Ahian, and Shechem, and Lekai, and Aniam, and the sons of Ephraim, Shethila, and Bered his son, and Teath his son, and Elada his son, and Teath his son, and Zabad his son, and Shethila his son, and Ezer, and Eliad, whom the men of Gath that were born in that land slew, because they came down to take away their cattle. And Ephraim their father mourned many days, and his brethren came to comfort him. And when he went to his wife, she conceived and bare a son, and he called his name Beriah, because it went evil within his house, with this house. And his daughter was Shira, who built Beth Horon the nether in the upper, and Uzan Shira. And Repha his, was his son, also Reshef, and Tila his son, and Tehan his son, Laodin his son, Amihud his son, Elishama his son. Known his son, Jehoshua his son. And their possessions and habitations were Bethel and the towns thereof, and eastward Naaron, and westward Gezer with the towns thereof, Shechem also and the towns thereof, unto Gaza and the towns thereof. And by the borders of the children of Manasseh, Bethshean and her towns, Tanak and her towns, Megiddo and her towns, Dor and her towns, in these dwelt the children of Joseph the son of Israel. The sons of Asher, Imna and Isua and Ishuai and Beriah and Sarah, their sister. 
and the sons of Beriah, Heber and Malkiel, who is the father of Beersabus. And Heber begat Japhlet and Shomer and Hotham and Shua, their sister. <clears throat> and the sons of Japhlet, Pasek and Bimhal and Ashveth. These are the children of Japhlet. And the sons of Shamer, Ahai and Roga, Jehaba and Aram. And the sons of his brother, Helam, Zophah and Imna, and Shelesh and Amal. The sons of Zophah, Sua and Harnefer, and Shul and Berai and Imra. Bezer and Hod and Shema and Shilsha and Ethran and Bera. And the sons of Jether, Jephunneh and Pispa and Era. And the sons of Ula, Era and Haniel and Rezia. All these were the children of Asher, heads of their father's house, choice the mighty men of valor, chief of the princes. And the number throughout the genealogy of them that were apt to war and to battle was twenty and six thousand men. Now Benjamin begat Bela his firstborn, Ashbel the second, and Ahara the third, Noah the fourth, and Rapha the fifth. And the sons of Bela were Adar and Gera and Abihud and Abishua, and Naaman, and Ahoah, Ahoa, and Gera, and Shephaphan, and Huram. These are the sons of Ehud. These are the heads of their fathers of the inhabitants of Geba, and they removed them to Man- Manaeth. And Naaman, and Ahiah, and Gera, he removed them, and begat Uzzah, and Ahihud. And Shah. Shah. <clears throat> Shaharim began begat children in the country of Moab after he had sent them away. Hushim and Bera were his wives, and he begat of Hodesh his wife Jobab and Zabia and Mesha and Malchem, and Jeus and Shakia and Mirma. These were his sons, heads of the fathers. And of Hushim he begat Abitub and Elpal. The sons of Elpal, Eber and Misham, and Shamed, who built Ono and Lod with the towns thereof. Beriah also, and Shema, who were heads of the fathers of the inhabitants of Aijalon, who drove away the inhabitants of Gath, and Ahio, Sheshik, and Jerimoth, and Zebediah, and Ered, and Eder, and Michael, and Ispa, and Joah, the sons of Beriah, and Zebediah, and Meshulam, and Hezekiah, and Heber, Ishmerai also, and Jezliah, and Jobab, the sons of Elpel, and Jakim, and Zikri, and Zabdi, and Elianai, and Zilthai, and Eliel, and Adea, and Berea, and Shimrath, the sons of Shimhai, and Ishpan, and Heber, and Eliel, and Abdon, and Zikri, and Hanan, and Hananiah, and Elam, and Antithijah, and Iphidia, and Penuel, sons of Sheshek, and Shamshari, and Shehariah, and Athaliah, and Jerusiah, and Eliah, and Zikri, the sons of Jeroham. These were the heads of the fathers by their generations, chief men. These dwelt in Jerusalem. And at Gibeon dwelt the father of Gibeon, whose wife's name was Mekah. And his firstborn son, Abdon and Zur, and Kish, and Baal, and Nadab, and Gedor, and Ahio, and Zachur. And Mikloth begat Shemaiah, and these also dwelt with their brethren in Jerusalem over against them. And Ner begat Kish, and Kish begat Saul, and Saul begat Jonathan, and Malkishua, and Abinadab, and Eshbel. And the son of Jonathan was Meribel, and Meribel begat Micah. And the sons of Micah were Pithon and Melech and Tereah and Ahaz. And Ahaz begat Jehoiada, and Jehoiada begat Elimeth and Azmaveth and Zimri. And Zimri begat Mosa, and Mosa begat Benaiah. Rapha was his son, Eliasa his son, Azel his son. And Azel had six sons whose names are these, Azricam, Bokeru, and Ishmael, and Shariah, and Obadiah, and Hanan.
All these were the sons of Azel. And the sons of Ashik, his brother, were Ulam the firstborn, Jehush the second, and Eliphalet the third. And the sons of Ulam were mighty men of valor, archers, and had many sons and sons' sons, a hundred and fifty. All these are of the sons of Benjamin. So all Israel were reckoned by genealogies, and behold, they were written in the book of the kings of Israel of Jude and Judah, who were carried away to Babylon for their transgression. Now the first inhabitants that dwelt in their possessions in their cities were the Israelites, the priests, the Levites, and the Nethanims. And in Jerusalem dwelt of the children of Judah, and of the children of Benjamin, and of the children of Ephraim, and Manasseh, Uthai the son of Amihud, the son of Omri, the son of Imri, the son of Benai, of the children of Pharaoh, the son of Judah, and of the Shilonites, Asaiah the firstborn, and his sons, and of the sons of Zerah, Jewel, and their brethren, 690, and of the sons of Benjamin, Salu, the son of Methus, Meshulam, the son of Hodaviah, the son of Hesenua, and Ib- Ibnea, the son of Jeroham, and Elad, the son of Uzai, the son of Mikri, and Meshulam, the son of Shephathiah, the son of Ruel, the son of Ibnijah, and their brethren, according to their generations, 956. All these men were chief of the fathers in the house of their fathers. And of the priests, Judea, Jehoirib, and Jakin, and Azariah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Zadok, the son of Merioth, the son of Ahitub, the son, the ruler of the house of God. And Adea, the son of Jeraham, the son of Pashur, the son of Malchijah, and Maasei, Maasei, the son of Adiel, the son of Jazira, the son of Meshulam, the son of Meshulimeth, the son of Immer, and their brethren, heads of the house of their fathers, a thousand and seven hundred and threescore, very able men for the work of the service of the house of God. And of the Levites, Shemaiah the son of Hashub, the son of Azricam, the son of Hashabiah, of the sons of Merari, and Bakbakar, Heresh, and Galal, and Mataniah, the son of Micah, the son of Zikri, the son of Asaph, and Obadiah, the son of Shemaiah, the son of Galal, the son of Jeduthun, and Berechiah, the son of Asa, the son of Elkanah, that dwelt in the villages of of the Netophathites. And the porters were Shalom and Akub and Talmon and Ahiman and their brother, brethren. Shalom was the chief, who hitherto waited in the king's gate eastward. They were porters in the companies of the children of Levi. And Shalom, the son of Koreh, the son of Ibiasaph, the son of Korah, and his brethren of the house of his fathers, the Korahites, were over the work of the service, keepers of the gates of the tabernacle, and their fathers, being over the host of the Lord, were keepers of the entry. And Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, was the ruler over them in time past, and the Lord was with him. And Zechariah, the son of Meshelemiah, was porter of the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. All these which were chosen to be porters in the gates were 212. These were reckoned by their genealogy in their villages, whom David and Samuel the seer did ordain in their set office. So they and their children had the oversight of the gates of the house of the Lord, namely, by the house of the tabernacle, by wards. In four quarters were the porters toward the east, west, north, and south, and their brethren which were in the villages were to come after seven days from time to time with them. For these Levites, the four chief porters, were in their set office, and were over the chambers and treasuries of the house of God. And they lodged round about the house of God, because the charge was upon them, and the opening thereof every morning pertained to them. And certain of them had the charge of the ministering vessels, that they should bring them in and out by tail. Some of them also were appointed to oversee the vessels, and all the instruments of the sanctuary, 
and the fine flour, and the wine, and the oil, and the frankincense, and the spices. And some of the sons of the priests made the ointment of the spices. And Mattathiah, one of the Levites, who was the firstborn of Shalom, the Korahite, had the set office over the things that were made in the pans. And other of their brethren, of the sons of the Kohathites, were over the showbread to prepare it every Sabbath. And these are the singers, chief of the fathers of the Levites, who remaining in the chambers were free, for they were employed in the work, that work day and night. These fa- chief fathers of the Levites were chief throughout their generations. These dwelt at Jerusalem. And in Gibeon dwelt the father of Gibeon, Jehiel, whose wife's name was Mekah, and their, his firstborn son, Abdon, then Zur, then Kish, then Baal, and Ner, and Nadab, and Gedor, and Ahio, and Zechariah, and Mikloth. And Mikloth begat Shemaim, and they also dwelt with their brethren at Jerusalem over against their brethren. And Ner begat Kish, and Kish begat Saul, and Saul begat Jonathan, and Mal- Malkishua, and Abinadab, and Eshbaal. The son of Jonathan was Meribel, and Meribel begat Micah. And the sons of Micah were Pithon, and Melech, and Tereah, and Ahaz. And Ahaz begat Jerah, and Jerah begat Elimeth, and Asmaveth, and Zimri, and Zimri begat Motsa. And Motsa begat Benaiah, and Rephaiah his son, Eliasah his son, Azel his son. And Azel had six sons whose names were these, Azrikam, Bokeru, and Ishmael, and Sheriah, and Obadiah, and Hanan. These were the sons of Azel. Now the Philistines fought against Israel, and the men of Israel fled from before the Philistines and fell down slain in Mount Geboah. And the Philistines followed hard after Saul and after his sons, and the Philistines slew Jonathan and Abinadad and Malkishua, the sons of Saul. And the battle went sore against Saul, and the archers hit him, and he was wounded of the archers. Then said Saul to his armor-bearer, Draw thy sword, and thrust me through therewith, lest these uncircumcised come and abuse me. But his armor-bearer would not, for he was sore afraid. So Saul took a sword and fell upon it. And when his armor-bearer saw that Saul was dead, he fell likewise on the sword and died. So Saul died, and his three sons and all his house died together. And when all the men of Israel that were in the valley saw that they fled, and that Saul and his sons were dead, then they forsook their cities and fled, and the Philistines came and dwelt in them. And it came to pass on the morrow when the Philistines came to strip the slain, that they found Saul and his sons fallen in Mount Gilboa. And when they had stripped him, they took his head and his armor, and sent into the land of the Philistines round about to carry tidings unto their idols and to the people. And they put his armor in the house of their gods, and fastened his head to the temple of Dagon. And when all Jabesh Gilead heard all that the Philistines had done to Saul, they arose, all the valiant men, and took away the body of Saul and the bodies of his sons, and brought them to Jabesh, and buried their bones under the oak in Jabesh, and fasted seven days. So Saul died for his transgression, which he committed against the Lord, even against the word of the Lord, which he kept not, and also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it, and inquired not of the Lord, therefore he slew him, and turned the kingdom unto David, the son of Jesse.